welcome to Unkinish Creations. In this video, I'm gonna share a pot painting idea inspired from an ancient Indian art called Lippan Kam. Lippan Kam, also known as mud mirror work, is a clay art form from region of Kutch in Gujarat, India. Traditionally, Lippan is made by adding mud and cow dung and done on the walls by adding mirrors to it to decorate their home. And today, we are making this pot inspired from this art form to decorate our home. So let's get started! First, I collected all different sizes of mirrors at one place and on the basis of that, I drew a rough design which will go on pot on a paper so that I have an idea of how many mirrors I would need. This can be changed later little bit on requirement. And then I'm cleaning my pot with a damp napkin so that I have a smooth surface to paint my white base on. Painting a layer of white acrylic paint first, this will give a smoother base for our main color and will also help them pop out more brightly. Let this white layer dry completely before moving on to the next step. As you can see, here I am horizontally dividing this pot into equal parts. And then I am again dividing the bottom part in 4 equal parts. And then dividing the upper section also in 4 equal parts but here each section would be in between the 2 section of lower part. This is how it looks. Don't worry you will get a perfect idea once we start coloring. I am taking 4 different shades of acrylic paints for filling in these boxes, 2 for the upper side and 2 for the lower sides, filling alternately in all the boxes. For painting the border of the pot, I am taking a different shade than those 4 shades. Now I'll let this paint dry completely before I move on to the second layer of the paint because I wanted more opacity. You can skip this paint if you are happy with the first layer itself. Once this paint has dried completely, we can start sticking the mirrors to our pot. I'm using Fabricryl Hobby Ideas fabric glue here for sticking the mirrors because I think it is the most sturdy glue ever and it dries clear. I'm sharing my design with whatever mirrors I had with me but you can obviously create your design with the mirrors you have. And this is how it looks after sticking all the mirrors. Now for the mud part of the art form, we are using air dry clay. You can use shilpkar or any other air dry clay. Take equal pieces of resin and hardener and mix it with, use, with your fingers using some talcum powder in it to make it non-sticky. Now I am rolling it thin as you can see here and then I will cut it into 16 equal pieces to make sw small leaves out of it. Now again using the same fabric glue, I am sticking these leaves on the lower part of the pot. Now again I am rolling some clay and will cut 16 small pieces to make round shape like this and will again cut 16 more smaller pieces to make smaller round shape. Sticking those round pieces on the upper part of the pot. Wipe off the excess glue with a clean brush so that it looks clean after drying. Now I am taking a little bit bigger round shape and will stick them on the 
border of the pot and then I am inserting this small square mirror pieces in the center of this clay. Now I am again rolling the clay but this time I am rolling it very thin to stick it on the borders of each section of the pot. This is how it looks after sticking all the clay pieces and mirrors to it. Now I'll let the clay dry completely and then I'll add a layer of white acrylic paint to make it more bright. But if you are using any other air dry clay which is quite white and bright in itself then you can skip this step and you are done with the pot. And this is how it turned out at the end. Isn't it beautiful? I totally loved it. It can be a great home decor or it can also be a wonderful gift idea for any housewarming party. hit that like button if you do i have one more pot painting video on this channel inspired from varley art i'll link that video in the description box below and also at the end of this video check it out if you haven't already comment down below if you have any video request and also if you have any queries related to this video i'll see you soon bye love being creative and yeah subscribe if you haven't already bye